All right, folks. I like to do a lot of different things, right? Like yesterday, we were just having direct instruction. I was up in front of class. We were writing notes on the board. I enjoy that. I also want to give you an opportunity to, to you know, work at your own pace. So if you want to watch the video at one and a half speed and copy down some notes, and today's assignment, I think, is fairly straightforward. Uh, so you're setting up your notes right now. You can put the video on pause and come back. All right, so we're going to deal with exponential equations. All right, so what is an exponential? I probably should have had the word equation here. Well, an equation means you got an equal sign, right? So like, uh, what is an equation? Well, we got an equal sign there. And then to have an exponential equation, you need to have a base. Like, let's say you had five, and then your variable is up in the exponent. And then you're going to equal some number over here, like 10, all right? Now, let's say you have something that's not exponential. That might look like this, 5x equals 10. So 5 times x equals 10, or 5 to the x power equals 10. This one's the exponential one. This one's called a linear function, right, or a linear equation. Uh, so let's write some more down. Let's say you had like 3 to the 2x equals 20. Or you had uh, 7 to the x plus 2 equals 28. Uh, or you had like, uh, I don't know, 11 to the pi x equals 100, you know? So these are exponential equations. Ones that are not might look like this, like the sine of x equals y, or um, x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 17. These are not exponential equations. These are exponential equations. So what's in common with these guys? You're going to have a base, and the base has to be a positive number. That has to be a positive number, okay? Um, and then you're going to have an exponent. And in the exponent is where the variable is located. That's what makes it an exponential function. So the x is going to be up in the exponent. And then it's going to equal some number over here, all right? Or it could be like another variable like y. So that's what makes it an exponential equation. So look at this guy right here. So 5 is the base. You can see the x is up in the exponent, and it's equal to 625. So here's how we're going to solve these easy problems. After I show you this, you're going to do problems 1 through 4. So the first four problems after we do this one. You're going to get the right side, the 625, as a power of 5. You're, you're going to have 5 as the base, so let's put that down. Okay, so 5 is going to be here. So you notice that the bases are going to be equal to each other. This is like the beginner step at solving an exponential equation. Not all exponential equations can be solved like this. So first of all, you know, I said you're going to write 625 as a power of 5. So we've got to figure out what do you raise 5 to to get 625. So let's see, 5 cubed, well, let's start basic here. 5 squared is 25, right? So if I take 25 times another 5, that would be 5 cubed. So let's list a few over here. So if we just said 5 squared equals 25. 5 cubed equals 125 because you multiply by 5, right? So times 5 is going to get you to 125. If I go 5 to the fourth power, I multiply by another factor of 5, and I get 625. Okay, you could check it out. It really is. So what I want here is 5 to the fourth power. Now think about this. When we're asking ourselves, what do I have to raise 625 to? to get, you know, what do I have to raise 5 to to get 625? I'm really answering the question, what do I have to raise 5 to to get 625? Well, I'm figuring that out on my own because they're going to give us ones that are pretty pretty easy to do. Now, you might think well, that that wasn't so easy. It's okay, you're going to get better at this, and this, this will eventually be like, ah, oh, that's no problem. So it, the x has to be equal to 4. I mean, if we have 5 to the x equals 5 to the 4th, we're done right there. And the first four are going to be that easy. You just have to figure out what do you raise the number on the right side. You know, like, like the, you have to have the same base. So you're going, to, you're going to put the base over there, and you're going to say, what do I have to raise this number to to get this number right here? All right, that's going to be your challenge on the first four problems. Good luck.